Welcome back, everyone, to On Time. Get a different perspective on objects from yesteryear by using new technology. In a new exhibition, Structure and Perspective, David Brewster explores Maryland's social landscape. Gender, race, urban decay, and suburban sprawl are just some of the themes explored by contrasting the past with the present. Joining me to explain from the Maryland Historical Society is Alexandra Deutsch, Director of Collections and Interpretation, and Q Ragsdale, Director of Public Relations and Marketing. Welcome to the both of you. Thank you for having Thank us. You. For people who may not know, who exactly is David Brewster? David Brewster was born in Glendon, Maryland, and he began creating art from the earliest age. We have a piece from when he was six years old, and he's been a prolific artist his entire life. He relocated to New England, where he's been working for several decades, um, but he continues to come back to Maryland because the Baltimore County landscape really shaped his sensibilities, and also the urban landscape of the city really shaped his sensibilities. Are there images that we would see that kind of reflect his work inside of the city? Absolutely. I think there are so many neighborhoods. He often goes into the neighborhoods that we might just drive through and not really see um, and not see the inhabitants of, but particularly neighborhoods that are struggling, mm -hmm. um, neighborhoods throughout the city. Those are the ones that he's most interested in. He's not going to the pristine landscapes of, you know, Roland Park or Homeland. He's interested in places where the city is facing challenges, and that's always been his interest. Even just the fact that this is an interactive uh, kind of um, uh, display, talk a little bit about some of the ways people will be able to connect uh, using that interaction. Well, throughout the galleries, we have installed iPads with interactive technology, which allows the visitor to create their own unique experience. So we asked questions from members of the community, um, keeping with the theme, what's your perspective? And asking the community members their unique perspectives on gender and race and culture. And so as you go through the gallery and the exhibit, you can actually interact with these videos and kind of curate your own experience. Wow. So no one person will have the exact same experience as someone else. That's pretty cool. Talk a little bit about uh, how you mentioned the fact you want to blend the past with the present. How does this exhibit do that? Well, he is a contemporary artist, and so by bringing together his contemporary art with objects from the collection and creating these juxtaposition, juxtapositions of paintings done in 2016 with objects from the 18th century all the way up to the present time, I think creates a really interesting dialogue because sometimes I feel when people look at documents of the past, they think, well, this doesn't have anything to do with me. Mm. But in fact, if we put a new lens on them and look at them with contemporary eyes, issues of race, issues of politics, issues of landscape, issues of gender have long existed. And you can actually make that travel through time between centuries and make connections for yourself. Why take on gender, race? Uh, you mentioned the fact the uh, suburban sprawl a little bit. How important is it to kind of mix those things and try and form this exhibit? I think it's so important to realize that history is cyclical. And a lot of times, if you disengage from history, you're kind of missing out on things that can help you with coping or understanding or even addressing issues that are actually happening today. So with this exhibit, our goal was to embrace and invite new audiences to interact with the museum. And by approaching these topics, which can be seen throughout history and today, I mean, there have been uprisings uh, that have gone back from like the late 1800s all the way from two years ago. And so to understand that and to be able to juxtapose what's happened in the past and for people to see that their experience is not new and it can actually help inform how they navigate, you know, the challenges of today. Um, what's the reaction been like so far from people who have gone through uh, the exhibit and experienced it so far? I would say a lot of surprise. Surprise that we're working with a contemporary artist. I think a lot of surprise at the range of objects we have in the collection because we have everything from objects you would expect like 18th century paintings all the way to our portion of our LGBT 
collection is included in this exhibit. Um, I think people are just astonished by the range of history that we're able to interpret at the Historical Society. Mm -hmm. And I think they're also surprised that they're looking at objects that they may have walked by in a normal gallery setting and thinking to themselves, wow, I'm really interested in a way that's more relevant to me than I ever expected to be. What are you guys trying to target a specific group, uh, an age range with the exhibit, or is it just something that everyone can come and just kind of pick and learn something from? Yeah. History is for everybody, Definitely. and I think that for us, we have a collection where we want everyone to feel that they have a perspective and a connection to. So we didn't really target a particular audience because we want all audiences. If anything, I think our focus has been we just want our audience to be as broad as possible. Mm -hmm. And I feel like this is an effort to be as inclusive as possible, as welcoming, and that it's an exhibition that wants other voices. So that for us has been the goal. Do you guys see any more interactive exhibits in your future? I, obviously this one is very popular. <laughs> Do you think this is something, a, a trend that could continue? Absolutely, and I think one of the aspects of the programming that accompanied this exhibit, which really works in harmony with the exhibit, are these community forums where we really addressing some of these challenging topics with community members and they're experiencing the exhibit and now you're having a not necessarily that typical museum experience which can be really passive just walk through the gallery maybe talk to the person you're with mm -hmm. but really having your unique perspective on what you're seeing in the in the museum so I definitely think for us this is going to be a guide for as we move forward and how we think about future exhibits and programming. All right, definitely changing the way you would visit a museum. Q, Alexandra, thanks so much for joining me today. Structure and Perspective, David Brewster explores Maryland's social landscape, now on view at the Maryland Historical Society. For details, give them a, give them a call at 410-685-3750 or visit their website, mdhs.org. Stay with us, we'll be right back.